Hello ladies, welcome back to my Wednesday special. Huh, hanging out with Mimilicious. Okay, my ladies, so last week I was here and I talked about my first story time where I talked about the guy who wanted a cookie who later confessed to me that he only wanted my cookies when he came after me in the very first time. But he got stuck because he didn't get the cookies and then he finally fell in love so someone chatted me she was like please just even tell us how you met i'm like okay cool cool i'm going to tell you how we met i've always wanted to talk about how i met my husband which is a very interesting and amazing story so here we go story time with me malicious so in last week's video i told you of how a guy chased me around campus for over a year and a year plus but i didn't give in but what i didn't tell you exactly how we met mm -hmm. okay so yes i'm going to tell you exactly how we met so i was in school i was in year one and I had talked about how we were all called Jambitos. We had just come into year one and then we were having our matriculation. Yes, exactly. So we were having our matriculation. It was our matric day, you know, the day where you wear those gowns, the green ones, and you have something, yes. So we went all out. In fact, uh, people will have their parents come in, brothers and sisters, just to be with them. But for me, uh, my parents lived so far away, no one really came. Only my brother who was in the next state because he was also schooling there. So he came just to be with me, yes. So we had finished matric. And that night, the next night, there was going to be a show. Yes, there was going to be a show. We had a popular artist coming to the school. Then it was going to be Two-Face yes you know the guy who sang african queen yes he was coming to school and then it was a star trek show actually so he was coming mama g was coming so many other artists were coming so we were supposed to go for the show it was just like two or three days after my trick but unfortunately i became sick yes i think i was sick with uh, some fever so i was having serious temperature so that day i was just in my hostel laying low resting meanwhile this time i had made two friends and we we're kind of inseparable obi and uche so if you do not find me meanwhile I'm, i had made two friends and a sister a sister because i realized that we were from same village and even same town and then we became so close because we were living in the same hostel her name is Neki and then I had these other two friends whom we were all in year one and we were all doing the whole matric thing together but Neki was in second year so they were all getting ready for the show that night and as they were all getting ready I was not even you know making movements like i was going to go i would just go into my room what we call hostel is not like uh the school hostel like in the campus no it's just like uh sets of self-contained built and then people will go in their students will go in there pay the landlords and build. so it was just like a self-con you have your bathroom and your room together all to yourself yes and there is a general cooking area that's the kind of thing we had we called it sepcon so obi and uchi were staying together neki was staying alone in her own room and i was alone in my room and then as they were preparing and talking so much about the show and i was so down i decided to just go into my room and lay down and rest because of course your girl didn't have any energy she was sick she wasn't going anywhere not for a show never so I went into my room and I laid down. The show was supposed to be for, I think, 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. Then I was just there in my room, so tired, laying down. When all of a sudden, my two friends, Obi and Uche, came to me. They're like, Mimi, are you not going for the show tonight? 
I'm like, I'm not feeling fine. I cannot go. How am I going to enjoy it if I'm not feeling fine? They're like, no, no, no. You need to go. Haven't you heard about the stories going on? I'm like, what stories? They're like, if you do not go, the cultists are going to raid the hostels and they go about doing lots of bad things. They may gang rape you, they may do that. I'm like, what? No way. I'm like, is that what they do in schools? No. I'm, they are going to lock the hostel. I'm going to lock my room. They're like, seriously, they said it's a bad day because they're going to be lots of cultists, hustle and tussle. They're going to blend new members. They made me so scared and I kept on insisting that I wasn't going to that show because I knew they just wanted to get me out of the house. So, my sister Nike comes in, yes, and she says to me, Mimi Licious, what's happening? Are you not going for the show? Look at the time, it's 8 p.m. Come on, Mimi, let's go. And I'm like, no, I'm not going. She's like, no, 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 oh, Mimi Licious. She started, you know, just praising and making me feel good she was saying all sorts of things to me i was like girl i really do not want to go i just want to stay at home she's like you know what if you do not go they're going to rob the hostel that there's been a rumor going around that cultists are going to rob the hostel they're going to take your money and after taking your money, if you're a girl, they'll probably rape you and everything. I'm like, are you serious now? At this point, I became so scared. And I'm like, okay, fine. I will just try to go, but you know I don't have energy. I'm just going to sit down so no one should force me to dance or do anything crazy. And they're like, it's okay. Let's just go. When you get there, you just sit down. I'm like, okay, I'll go. And they were all happy so you know Neki was in second year by that time so when it was about nine o'clock ten o'clock we all got ready to go to the show put on some jacket because it was really cold and then we took the campus shuttle to go to a place where it's holding it was so crowded that night everybody wanting to go for the show everybody the hostel was actually empty look if i hadn't gone with them if they had left without me i would have cried all night through it was so quiet when i went outside i realized that everyone was going for the show it would have been a dead place i'm telling you ladies so we went we were waiting for the bus the campus shuttle was picking and dropping it was so hard to even get a bus at the end of the day we got a bus and we went to the show on getting to the show we sat down and things started happening boys and girls dancing the artists singing everyone in the air dancing you know waving their hands in the air i was just seated quietly in one corner i wasn't even having fun not even a single fun I was just looking at them I was just so tired I was and the place where I was where I sat there was no resting area so I kind of like sat like this at this point I was so tired I just needed was sit I was sitting on a fence it was a show is either you're sitting on the seat or you're standing so I was so lucky I had somewhere a pavement to sit on so I sat on this pavement there was no backside to lean on. There was no side to lean on. I was just seated like this. And I was so tired. I just needed somewhere to lean on. So, I kept on strong. I could see they were having fun. I was only wishing I could have fun with them. But I knew there was no way. So, all of a sudden... I saw my friends talking to two guys. Two guys walked by and they stopped. And then my friends, Obi and Uche, they were talking to these two guys. And I was just sitting there. 
So one of the guys started talking to Uche and Obi was just close by. She came close and stayed with me at this point. So after a while, I saw one of the guys because one of them was talking to Uche and I was sitting on the pavement and by my left side, still there was space because no one was sitting there. So the other guy came and sat just by my side. So as he sat by my side, he was like, come, let's dance. And I'm like, I don't want to dance. He's like, why are you sitting so quietly? You're not enjoying, are you not enjoying the show? I'm like, it's fine, it's okay. He's like, but you're too quiet. Are you, are you okay? I said, I'm okay. He said, uh, you don't really look okay, even the way you're speaking. I said, yeah, I'm not really feeling so fine. And he was like, oh, really? So why did you come for the show? I'm like, everyone left the hostel. So my friends said I had to come. And then he was like, okay, it's fine. But are you okay? I said, I'm okay, but I'm just so tired. I need a place to lean on. He was like, okay, it's fine. You can lean on me. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. I said, at that point, ladies, I used to be shy. Yes, I have. <laughs> I used to be so shy back then. When he said, you can lean on me. My first impression was lean on you, someone I do not know, I just lean on him. I'm like, no, no, it's okay. Then I sat down. I was just sitting there. I was so tired, ladies, at the point I felt like I was going to fall. And no one asked me to just fall on top of his, you know, on his shoulder. And I stayed like this all through. If you had seen us, you would think we were like we came to the party together but this is a total stranger that i didn't even that i didn't even know from adam and i'm there leaning on his shoulders and just resting away so we stayed that way for a while and then everything happened the show came to an end when it was time to go we kind of exchanged numbers. It was like, if you don't mind, can I have your number? And feeling like I've been resting on his shoulders and it's not easy to, to carry someone's hand for that long. I felt obligated to give him my number. He was like, okay, uh, I hope we can see you again. So what campus are you in? I'm like, I'm in a shaky campus because I schooled in a one state university. I was like, I'm in a shaky campus. He was like, ah, oh, really? I'm also in the same campus. I'm like, okay, no problem. He was like, what department are you? I was like, okay, I'm in philosophy and religion department. And he's like, ah, oh, I'm in philosophy department. I'm like, really? He's like, yes. I'm like, okay. He's like, okay, see you around. I'm like, okay. And that was how we parted ways so until my next story time when i tell you of how we met again in school and then how we became friends and how things kind of moved ahead from there do have a lovely day do have a happy day stay happy stay blessed bye bye